A virus is so tiny, it can only be seen with a special microscope. It consists of a small collection of genetic codes surrounded by a protein wall. A respiratory virus can only replicate inside a living cell, which it has figured out how to effectively do. When an infected individual coughs or sneezes near you, the virus may be inhaled or transmitted, usually by your fingers, to your nose, mouth, or eyes. Once inside, it can infect the upper or lower respiratory tract. Traveling down your airways, the virus binds itself to the epithelial cells that line your airways. A virus will infect these cells and take control of the protein manufacturing parts of that cell, requiring it to make copies of the virus instead. This usually kills the cell and causes damage in the host as the new viral particles leave the infected cell to invade nearby cells and continue the damaging cycle. Your immune system is designed to fight back against these foreign invaders by releasing an offensive army of cytokines, T cells, and antibodies that stimulate your immune response. A byproduct of this counterattack is that cytokines cause inflammation in your limbs, resulting in body aches, in your airways, resulting in coughing, sneezing, or a runny nose, and raising your body's temperature, resulting in a fever. The symptoms you feel are signs that your immune system is hard at work, stopping the virus from continuing to spread. Sometimes, your body goes into overdrive and releases too many cytokines to fight an unknown infection, resulting in a lot of unpleasant and potentially harmful symptoms. Learn more at lung.org.